Hello everyone, this is Bryant with SFOT Source, your premier guide to Six Flags over Texas. And we're here at Hallow Fest 2020, which runs now through November 1st on select dates. And the purpose of this Hallow Fest video is to show you all of the kid-friendly daytime activities. I know a lot of people are a little bit sensitive to scary stuff, so we want to show you kind of the ambiance and all of the kid activities that you can do. And as you probably know by now, Hallow Fest is definitely different than Fright Fest. It's more toned down, more social distancing, not so much of the scary all up in your face stuff. So that does kind of help. As y'all can see, super windy outside. Hopefully that doesn't affect the video too much, but we're probably gonna be blowing all around as we walk through the park. But sit back, relax, and we're gonna head inside. Terror diddles again, all you. All right, folks, we've made our way into the park, and as you can see, Hallow Fest is in full effect here at the front. We're next to the Scarousel, and one thing that I really like about these monsters up here, they have attached speakers to the bases of them, and they all have their own kind of sayings that they say to you when you walk by. And uh, I don't know if you can tell from here, but the Scarousel is running backwards with the spooky music. We will get a little closer, though, because there's some pretty cool stuff up here. And as you make your way over by the Scarousel, you run into the old past attractions graveyard. So you can see we've got Spindle Top, Caddo Canoes, Spelunker's Cave, and then we have all of these old ride pieces here. You can see we've got a boat, and then you've got the Fiesta Train, the Sky Hook, and you've got Big Ben. And of course you've got flashback equipped with the sign that is really awesome super cool and then in the middle of the past attractions graveyard you have the scarousel and you can see they've changed all of the lighting on the carousel to red and they've really decked this area out you've got some spooky zombie carousel horses with skeletons you've got some gargoyles up here I love the sign up there with the spooky horse. And then of course there goes the Scarousel rolling backwards. That is awesome. It's such a simple thing, but it's it's really fun. And then of course you've got another spooky zombie horse skeleton thing with skeleton rider right here. These are really cool. And on the second side of the past attractions graveyard, you've got the Headstone for Rotoriculus. You've got an old kitty ride there. And you've got a gravestone for the Texas Shootout. And then Splash Waterfalls, AKA Aquaman. You've got the old school Six Flags letters from Texas Shootout. And then of course, Texas Shootout right here equipped with baskets and parachutes. So cool. And then you roll this way. This looks like a uh, airplane from Red Baron and you have the Skull Island headstone back there Astro Lift Texas Cliffhanger aka Wildcatter and as you come through you get to Spinnaker LaSalle's River Adventure and then of course they still have some bumper cars from the bumper cars attraction and then a headstone for Rock and Rocket so this might be the coolest thing ever honestly and we've made our way into Spain, and here in front of Conquistador, you can see we've got some spooky guys, and they've dyed the water red, which is always fun. And uh, we have kind of shown y'all this other stuff, but this big crate that was here last time now has a monster and a skeleton on it. And then they have a couple of these kind of tree types of deals hanging out too, so just a few hints here and there, but uh, it's looking good. I also wanted to point out that if you all order food on the app, they are doing some secret hidden menu items and um, app is being very slow today but I wanted to show you all a couple of them so if you go to All American Cafe there's a couple things here uh, you can see that they still have the cheese force uh, bacon burger with fries which is a bacon uh, burger with cheese and macaroni and cheese on it which sounds crazy and then you can see there's a secret menu item, the we the Western patty melt with fries. And uh, that's that's pretty good. It's a juicy patty sandwich between two slices of Texas toast, two slices of Swiss cheese, onion rings, barbecue sauce, 
and a side of fries. Oh my goodness. 1720 calories. So, oh, and you can add cheese to your fries for 99 cents. So that's really nice. And you can see that's a meal on the dining pass. And as we continue looking at the secret menu items, the limited time offers, I believe, are for Hallowfest. So you can see Skyracha boneless wings with fries. And then on the secret menu at Ma Hunkles, you have the buffalo chicken potato wedges, which are probably potato wedges just sauced to death, but sounds super delicious. And uh, that's a meal on the dining pass. And at Oliver's Tavern, for limited time, they have the Southwestern chicken sandwich with tater tots. And uh, they said this was only lasting through August, so it looks like this thing is just going to keep on going. And then on the secret menu, you have the Philly quesadilla. I wonder, let's see, it doesn't tell, okay, so it looks like it comes with tater tots. Man, this is, uh, this is pretty good. And of course, it's, it's a meal on the dining pass as well. All right, folks, and as we wind around towards the lower Texas section, towards New Texas Giant, you run into the brand new Hobgoblin Bridge Scare Zone, and you can see they've moved these huge statues over here. You've got cobwebs all over the bridge. And then, of course, you've got this statue over here. So, I wonder what kind of spooky things will happen here at night. But as you can see during the day, very tame. And our second scare zone is here in the Old South section near uh, Runaway Mountain and Southern Palace. This is Purgatory. So, you can see all of the theming up there. You can see the crazy exorcism stuff. You've got exorcism stuff up here on the tree. And just lots of cobwebs and um yeah they've kept them pretty wide open and pretty pretty simple uh for those of you who want to come out here during the day i feel like it's a very tame kind of uh experience sight wise you don't have a lot of gore a lot of really scary stuff so definitely pretty children friendly we've rounded into the usa section and this isn't exactly a scare zone but you can see we've got some kind of tied up guy here who got attacked by a spider and then you've got like a mummy up on the building and then the one piece of decor that survives all time and space these huge monsters you've got a big one here the boo guy so these have come back i really think they've done a good job with just kind of the ambient decor it's not too crazy but i do think they spent a little bit more attention on it because just you know it's it's more of a centerpiece now you can see as we make our way further down into the usa section towards pandemonium all of the fencing and trees have been covered in cobwebs i love when they drape the cobwebs over the pathway i don't see any kind of specialized lighting out here so i don't know how well this will kind of show up uh at night which kind of is another good benefit of showing you this during the day so you can see but you've got more people kind of hanging out up in the trees up there uh not having too good of a day so uh no good but we are about to be at the next scare zone all right and right across from justice league you run into toxic danger which is our third scare zone and this does look like monsters maybe kind of stay behind these barrels, but you can see all kinds of lighting effects. There's probably going to be some mutated looking monsters out here, but during the day, pretty tame. And uh, I do like, I do like they're, that they're using this big truck again. And uh, it does look like there's lots of special lighting effects out here. So I am very excited to see what this stuff looks like at night. But it really does just kind of only shoot up this way. It's not, not too crazy, not too intense. And uh, one kind of funny thing that happened is the truck actually just went off. The horn went off, so watch out for that horn. We've routed ourselves back over into the Texas section so that we could show you the Mystic Acres Trick or Treat Trail, which is basically like a huge hay maze themed trick or treat trail and there are characters throughout the trail and you actually can take pictures with them they give you candy this is really good i mean really really nice so we're gonna we're gonna have to look at it a little bit more in depth you can see along the perimeter they've got all of this hay these pumpkins lots of fall theme you got a fun scarecrow and then all the way along here you've got all of this corn and hay and really fun 
I'm gonna see if they let adults go in here. I'm not too sure. All right, y'all, and as you kind of have to walk past it like you're going to Oil Derrick over here, and the entrance is actually on this far side. And uh, you can see here, we've got a big old tractor with a skeleton on it. I know the sun's not playing nice with us, but I think the best part of this whole thing is right here. What in the world is that? And uh, unfortunately, you have to be 10 or under to visit this. So this is truly a kid activity. Um, so unfortunately, we won't be able to show you the inside. But just based off of the outside, this looks like a really awesome thing for younger guests. All right, everyone. Our fourth and final scare zone that we're going to look at during the day is Terror Under the Tower. Very literal in its name. And you can see kind of the pathway towards Shockwave. You've got all of these cobwebs and uh this is very engulfing it goes all the way over and uh kind of like the other ones it's just a short little pathway it's kind of off the main path probably to help with traffic and at the entrance of this scare zone you've got these spooky things hanging out look at that spooky thing there's a little bit of cobweb stuff over there as well and then you've got this spooky you've got this spooky guy there he is and then you can kind of see what this looks like heading out this way so honestly really a <laughs> really good job with the cobwebs and today i actually have a new mask on you can see it's like mickey and minnie mouse with pumpkins and candy and uh, it's very fun and i got this if you want one of these you can get it uh, on instagram go to so dot sassy creations the link is in the description they have all kinds of halloween ones if you're looking so make sure to check it out so fair warning if you are in the tower section by cattle lake barge this shack right here will jump scare you oh, my goodness it's really loud and as we make our way into the boomtown section the one big other food event they have going on right now is taste of the state fair as you know the state fair was canceled this year so six flags has partnered with a number of the state fair food vendors so on this side you have pineapple man and it's pineapple man and gulf coast grill so you've got like boba tea potato twirls hawaiian blast manganata seasoned fries here at gulf coast you have stuff like texas cream corn casserole fritters gulf coast fish bowl cajun crab bombs man cream corn queso and bacon nachos that sounds insane uh, keep in mind because the this isn't the parks food your discounts and your uh, dining pass doesn't work here because these these are run by people uh, that own these businesses uh, on this other side you have the cocina italiano and it's just like fried pb and j fried cookie dough uh, they have pb and j and strawberries they have fried pizza mini cheese sticks fried jambalaya and a lot of these are award-winning dishes from the state fair of texas and also in boomtown next to gunslinger you have texas skillet and they have returned this is a big time favorite here at six flags over texas during special events and they've got the cowboy burrito they've got grilled steak sandwiches they've got hot dogs sweet tea cowboy nachos you name it it's all here and I can smell it right now and it's it's like it's it's a good smell you know what I'm saying look at this guy oh my goodness oh my goodness this thing is really cool really like this and over here next to dry hole Charlie's you have Stifler sweet spot which is another food vendor and they've got fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, fried Snickers, fried S'mores. You can get a bag of cookies. You can get tea, bottled water, lemonade. And they have butter beer brew. I wonder what that is. That sounds good. I would highly recommend checking out some of these booths if you are here and uh, have a little extra money. So along with the Scarousel and the clowns at Texas Giant and the big Yeti creature in Runaway Mountain, you also have these dolls that take over runaway mine trains you've got the dolls up there and then of course in the hotel up there is a whole nother crazy scene and i highly recommend y'all check out the ride uh during hallow fest 
And one other fun daytime activity here at Crazy Horse Saloon is Phantom Photos. And uh, basically what it is is you can go in and there's a green screen set up and you can take spooky pictures. It does cost extra. It's uh, $19.99 for a 6x8 and then there is also a $25 package. So if that's something that you're into, it looks like it's probably pretty fun. One of your other specialty food places is Doc's Street Grill here in Gotham City, kind of right next to the uh, train track. And they have grilled chicken on a stick, shrimp on a stick, uh, grilled chicken wings, sausage on a stick, island veggie rice, and a combo plate, and some other drinks and stuff. So another great place to try some food. And even though nighttime has fallen here at Six Flags over Texas, we did kind of want to show you some of the kitty area because they have these fun multicolored cobwebs and you've got these fun little blow ups. But the cobwebs just kind of run all the way through here and you can see it's a nice little touch. I especially like them on that wall over there. And they've kind of tried to dress up that fence blocking the train track a little bit. But uh, very nice, very nice looks good all right y'all that does it for our daytime look at hallow fest and make sure you check out our nighttime video which actually came out before this one if y'all have any questions about hallow fest or six flags over texas please ask us in the comments below make sure to check out our hallow fest 2020 guide at sfotsource.com that link is in the description that'll tell you everything you need to know about the event we're also going to upload tons of images and stuff like that so that you can really get a good vibe of the event Thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon at a theme park.